Yeah. You know, it was also interesting was the way in which um, Parliament reacted yesterday. You know, there was it was I, I expected Cameron to you know and the Tories to, to well, jump they all up voted and down. in favour of it, didn't they? Yeah, but they were they were not muted at all in their piling on, and even Corbyn, the way he went after a fellow member of uh, of Labour, oh, God, yeah, he hates him, doesn't he? In oh. fact, the room the, the <clears throat> room the strong rumour is that he's basically hanging on in order to do that. Yeah. He wouldn't go until he, he had quote, crucified. Blair in that hot that Chilcot report. I still don't think he's going. No, he's he's a stubborn, isn't he? Well, he's not only stubborn; he's <laughs> right at this point. I mean, no matter what, the, the, he knows that if they call another election, he'll win through the membership, and they'll be yeah. exactly where they are today. So the negotiations are are ongoing, but the Blairites are not going to win this one. No, I mean, yeah. Right. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? I mean, that, that is an incredible business. I mean, you are seeing a situation where Labour are in almost total meltdown. And the parallels of the early 80s are amazing, actually. This whole thing about, um, you know, uh, my mandate comes from the activists, not from the MPs. I've heard it all before. I, mean, I was out on the streets <laughs> for Labour in the early 80s and that's exactly selling these unsellable policies yeah. that's exactly what they're saying then yeah. and you're going to get a situation where well you do have a situation where because <laughs> the vote to unseat the vote of no confidence in Corbyn was 172 against 40 among yeah. MPs so the vast, vast majority of MPs want him out. Well, they, they, the, the and vast majority of activists don't. But the vast Members majority don't. of MPs never wanted him in the first place. They didn't want him in the first place. I mean, so the, you have this split, this you know schism between the membership and MPs. Yeah. And Corbyn is saying, um, you know, and his acolytes are saying, um, it's the members that are important, not necessarily the MPs. And the parallels <laughs> with the 80s. And also the parallels of what we are going yeah. to have, possibly... With the Tories is incredible because you've had a situation where well, we'll, we'll come to oh, the Tories in just a second. Yeah, 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 we'll come to them in just a second because I mean it's. But if you if you look at the way in which this has broken, I, yeah. we knew from yeah. day one that eighty percent of those MPs were Blairites and were against the fact. I mean Corbyn's name was submitted as uh, well. Yeah, we probably need to have somebody from the far left in the ballot, but there's exactly, no yeah. way they'll ever survive. And it wasn't and John McCall said, oh, "I'll do it this time. You do it." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, look where we are. And the only way Labour's going to have a, a, a chance is in coalition. Hmm. And if they can form a coalition with the Lib Dems, the Greens, and um, Plaid and SNP, all of a sudden the Tories are out because now you've got the critical mass. The question is, will everybody play? Yeah, that won't happen though. I mean, they 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 won't sing for the same <laughs> sheet. 